What's going on guys? It's Renita. I'm back with another reaction video. So hopefully you just watched the first half of my um, Akala Fire in the Booth Part 2. I explained in that one um, that I couldn't upload the whole thing in one because... Anyway, if you watched that one then I don't need to re-explain all that. Um, <clears throat> so this is Part 2 of part two of the call of fire in the booth and so since you just watched part, part one um we could just get right into it for the own people can't be bothered to read that they actually believed that we were swinging from trees they don't know the kingdom of congo had embassies in italy 500 years ago literally ain't heard of saint marie snow septimus severus they ain't studying the past because they think it's irrelevant an attempt to pretend that ancient egyptians went african not a more than pseudo intellectual lies they obviously ain't read what aristotle when herodotus said about people that they saw for their own eyes and he just been invaded since the fall of the pharaohs not once not twice but many, many times, so nobody wants to explain why so many statues are missing noses. Even when the statues made of granite, it ain't one people alone mistaught about themselves. We live on Celtic land, but don't learn about the Celts the same. Irish people, you characterize as stupid during the dark ages. Some of the most educated living in Europe. And did you learn the numbers you count with every day was invented by Indian people? I bet you didn't. Or how many million Indians fought for Britain in both world wars? Still, you got the cheek to call them immigrants. We don't learn about the Moors, of course, for some that knowledge dangerous is it a problem the impact they had on the renaissance when people take power over another group we minimize their achievements so we can make it feel true so if you think columbus was first to sail ocean blue you probably believe elvis invented rock and roll too and oh for the record no doubt i believe in peace but not for one second and they'll turn the other cheek they slap you slap them back take teeth the only way your bully ever learn is getting beat fight fire with fire no fire with water see the life giving force is stronger than the destroyer that's why the these MCs can't speak to me. No, all men are not made equally. My brain's made of iron fiber, conducting the livest wire. My average grade's higher than Oxford or Cambridge require. I don't want credit because I got a message. I want credit because I'm the best MC. Get it? When I came out way back in 04, sister, I just won every award. Most men would have done the big thing, but big sits on the chorus chords. That would have been A-list draw. Quickly, I would have been famous more, but look how I came in this thing raw. Bang up the streets some more. If I MC, then I heard me rap. I'd be like, what the? I ain't never going to be that good, so I better not push my luck he will embarrass me only insanity would make you challenge me but i hope if we bump heads that day that i feel like charity if not it's a being and there ain't no use in search of a meaning because all it means is that you are crap and i am a genius why i'm panama i push the parameter can you imagine if i was sicker than average i kill him with character benjamin oh banneker look at the marriage i'm in the damage away from mechanical got a look for the whole of the calendar so cold that i'm all in a challenger why you man roll with the amateurs i'm too much harder you can just call him father mccarla but i don't talk shit like a pastor you really know that i'm smarter than half a bloody disaster if i ever start i probably a prodigy makes you a martyr for these crap MCs that mumble, then see me in the flesh and crumble. That's Never told you that I was humble. No, I'm not. Don't lie. I'm so sure in my writing ability that I feel like I'm finding divinity. Sit down and me rhyme a soliloquy. My agility, time in this military. What a scene, guillotine for the mini me. It seems rough theme for the mimicry. Your team couldn't dream of the synergy that I've been when I scheme when the wicked beat. There goes again with the big words with best syllables. Get your dictionaries out. That's what I'm about. Clowns wanna shout. Flash them, smash them in the mouth. Bloody professor, a man of the letters I read and I read and I'm sure that I'm better. Never regret an endeavor to dead an oppressor. I think that the lepers that think that their pleasures are better endeavors than all of our pressures. But see me, born in a rage. Maroon blood course in my veins as you can see i was born for the stage but i'll never be that cultural maid some say that we're political it's what they're doing isn't don't they preach a political doctrine called materialism Ooh. but for all the italian clothes that you wear all german cars that you drive all french champagne that we buy will still be monkeys in their eyes so why you were begging it who knows italians fight to wear jamaican clothes italians call their own women but everyone's entertainment bro oh pause i like that i like that he's not just talking about black and white like, on the surface, it could probably sound like that, but he mentions, like, um, about the Irish. He talked about how we're on, uh, being on Celtic land and you don't even learn about the Celts. And talked about the Indians. Talked about all different types of history, like, that most people don't learn about in school. And I like that because sometimes... Just the fact that he's using his voice and his audience to put knowledge out there because sometimes people don't even think to research certain things or to look up the history of certain things until you hear somebody that you might look up to mention it or something that somebody you're a fan of mention something about it and that could cause a spark and cause you to get on, go to a library, open a book, or even if it's just getting on Google. 
So that's that's very, very um, commendable of him that all the following he must have and all the people, this is how he chooses to use his voice to encourage people to learn about their history and encourage people to learn about the things that really happened in the past that people don't teach you in school. That's real dope. It's very, very nice. And it sounds good to a beat. So it's like still something that you just want to listen to. And then you learn it at the same time. Like that's hard to do. That's got to be hard to do. Like that's, that's very um, gifted. Like he seemed like he was put here for the purpose of what he's doing. That's very talented. That's very, very deep. Hey, what do I know? I'm just the one with the codes and the flows all over the globe. I'm bunning on shows, but still don't oil my chest and pose. Pose a threat to the power structure. Not because we're anything special, but because we're the people together. And that's the only way things change ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Akala just tore the building to pieces. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Akala definitely just tore the building to pieces. I, I know it's not over. I read y'all comments where you was like, there's a second part, so don't cut it off early. I'm not. I just wanted to say that first half of part two, that was amazing. That was really good. So I can't even imagine what he's about to say now. I, I feel like I just be school for a hot minute right there. Sign them seats, you know what? Like, I don't want to hear you. Don't call my phone. If you ain't coming to destroy a beat like that, don't call my phone. Or you're going to get a voicemail. A color. Wow. Good I don't even know what to right say. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take him down. Yo, listen. Uh, yo. I know you're gonna dig this. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day that like turn us insane. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day. Yo, listen. In a scheme of living, my life wasn't hard But as far as Britain goes, shh, I practically starved Sleeping in a tracksuit, gas meter running out Electric car off as well, candles lighting up the house Looking in my mother's eyes, I see how she feels A strain and the pain of just paying bills that ain't real And that's how I grew, like so many more And that was part of who I am, I am very sure You wanna know the rage I feel in my stomach? No, my mama, and dad's blood when I was still in her stomach And not everything that happened, I will put in 16s But I will tell you enough so you will know what I mean my boy's mother got cancer the same time as mine But his mother died and mine survived It was crazy back then When I was like 10 already had the mental strength More than many grown men This was a couple years after my stepdad left did he really know the crazy mess that he left? Because mum done recover from the lumps in her neck But being poor and alone couldn't cope with the stress uh, My big sis fought so much so And I hadn't left school when she left home I was 13 by now, still a little kid, innocent Next couple years though, we'll turn him to a militant That is the result of no food in the fridge And every other day you're getting searched by the pigs Plus these patronising teachers though My grade sick, trying to emasculate me Yeah, turn me to a Anna Don't mean a woman, please let me be clear I mean a spineless man because what do they fear? More than a working class brown male with a brain When our energy is harnessed, everything changed Look at Pac, look at Marley, look at Hendrix, look at Garvey This is the potential that is wasted on a daily basis A racist, classist world that we live in Still we coming for nothing and we educate millions I see why it scares you, it's like how dare you Overcome obstacles that we are being careful to Place in your way, every step of the way In this so-called democracy where kids get sprayed Blacks and the Asians, Turks and the chaps crowded in council flats living like ants and who's more confused than so-called white trash talking this madness but they want their country back it never was yours ah. you should read more what they did to brown people they did to their own poor but people's memory short so much that i'm seeing black and asian kids cuss eastern europeans no pot to piss in makes competition i fail to see how this is an effective system when cats and dogs in america and britain eat better food than most of humanity and we spend our technology only on killing how is this more than sophisticated savagery it was once said the world is a stage each person just an actor with a part to play like the middle class kids and kids of the rich that have everything but yet still they pissed on they coke and ketamine strung out on 
I ain't generalizing. Look at the evidence. So go to Glastonbury any year, you will see. But unlike Carnival, it won't be crawling with police. This is London. The kids on the very next street had a very different life experience from me. And in my experience, they can't help but be smug. After a lifetime of what they think's just good luck. But they're still more anxious and more thankless. Unearned privilege weighs like an anchor. That's why they copy what we do, trying to be what they not. They will grow up though and get better jobs and maintain the system that they claim that they hated. They can't fight against, they got a stake in this matrix. Hip hop is just a fad to them. You didn't know? But for us, this is our living, breathing soul. And yeah, they might backpack in South America or even volunteer in an African village. But all said and done, when push comes to shove and sh hits the fan of middle class and British, and I ain't even dissing. That's just how it is. Most rich brown people are just as full of shit. So much more concerned with our cars and jewels than most of the world's poor looks just like you. So much more concerned with being privileged few. And who knows, maybe me too, because absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane who's in the building man i am so sorry i couldn't i couldn't speak like I hate just watching reaction videos. People just be sitting there like, oh, okay, not saying nothing. That's why I always try to make sure I give y'all my opinion and let you know, like, but man, that was amazing, like, jaw-dropping, like, that I couldn't even stop. I didn't want to stop it to even give commentary because it was just like, you don't stop that. Like, that's greatness right there. That was amazing. I like that that second half of the second part. I think a little bit better than the whole thing because it was just so different. His other um, two raps that I watched um, was more like, you know, about the issues. This was about the issues too, but this song gave a little bit of his background and gave you a little peek into how he grew up in his life and the things that he went through and his own personal struggle and which probably gives reason to why he cares so much about um poverty stricken kids and the uh political issues and things going on in the world that's really 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 dope man that guy is extremely talented make sure you click the link in the description down below so you can watch it in full and without my commentary all over it um that was amazing. Continue to comment and give me stuff to react to because I'm loving it. And give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all of my reactions. And I'll see you guys for the next one.